That night, proceeded to drop off the shoulder of the road, and when that happened, the trailer turned 90 degrees to the pickup, came unhooked from the pickup, rolled over, I would say, three or four times. As that happened, it came unhooked, it ended up upside down in the bottom of the ditch, and there it sat. That particular night, there was not any fuel spilled. Fuel gauge was fine. It was nearly three-fourths full and uh, held up very well versus a homemade one probably would have split open and would have required cleanup and, and everything like that. But it says a lot about their brand that, that they make a good product, uh, that it's going to hold up. Hopefully not everybody has to roll it over to figure that out. I was able to finish the season with it. Uh, I took the doors off that were bent. The frame was twisted slightly. The, the front hitch was bent up. As far as the tank went, it held up very well. It didn't didn't have creases or dents in it. Everything was pretty well cosmetic. The fenders were bent, the top rail bars were bent, front doors were bent as well. My name is Dan Kruger. We're in Wesley, Iowa at my parents' farm. My brother, myself, and my dad farm together. We also have a custom manure hauling business that my brother and I operate since we have our own hog sites, and then we do a little bit of custom work as well. I guess I've known about Thunder Creek for a while. Uh, I hadn't really done a lot of research prior to last summer because we didn't have a huge need for it. Uh, we were using a homemade fuel trailer before this and it, it worked okay, just didn't have enough capacity. I was looking for a thousand gallon machine versus 500. So we purchased it mainly for manure hauling because we were traveling to different sites and needed something that was reliable. We do use it here on the farm as well, just because there's different fields you can run to quickly. You know, it pumps fast. You're not, you're not down very long to fuel up. The other reason was deaf. I talked to a friend of mine that had one at Thunder Creek and he recommended, you know, something to keep your deaf system clean. And until last year, we didn't have a tractor with deaf on it. Now we have a combine and a tractor that both have deaf requirements. So we're like, well, it's time to get one that's gonna cover everything because that's the way machinery's going. Greg from KDK Sales was able to help me out and get parts that I needed to repair the trailer. He actually delivered them up to me. A friend of mine from Spencer actually traded this trailer in to Greg and then I purchased it from him. Overall, I'm glad I'm able to still use it and didn't have to go search for a new trailer. At the time, I thought I was gonna have to do that and I had just purchased it in June. So, didn't get to use it a whole lot before it happened. As you can see, it's still working great and does what it needs to do. For the price point, I felt it was worth it for all the different features it had on it. And this one came all set up with the pumps on it and everything. If you go buy a brand new other one, a lot of times you have to add a def pump, a fuel pump, all that stuff, and then you have quite a bit wrapped into it as well. It definitely does help because it's speeding things up and it turned out well.